What's good, Spider Gang? MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching Fun with Dick and Jane. Shout out to Solar Being. I think that's how you say it because he spelled it weird. <laughs> it doesn't say solar, but it's like S O U. Anyway, shout out to Solar Being on Patreon for requesting this one. I believe that this movie is a Jim Carrey movie, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so yes, this is a Jim Carrey movie. I've actually never heard of this movie, and I'm surprised because I at least heard of most of the Jim Carrey movies if I haven't seen them, but I've never heard of this one. Um, it came out in 2005, so that's after I was born. I, I don't know. I just never heard of it. <laughs> I don't even know what the plot could be, but either way, I'm so excited to watch it today, and I hope you guys are excited to watch it with me. If you do end up enjoying my reaction, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Liking the video really helps me push my channel across the platform, and subscribing is just because you love me. Also, if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel, as well as get them early and be able to request them, such as Solar wow. Being, go ahead and click that Patreon link down in the description below. Full movie and show reactions are there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the movie. I just want to say something real quick before we get into the movie. I feel like the name, like it used to be known as just a name and now people turn into something provocative. <laughs> Because obviously it's a, a penis, you know? People turn it into something worse. So it feels weird even saying someone's name is you know? Because what if he's actually a a long, long time ago. In the year 2000. That was a long time ago. Meet Dick. <laughs> that guy just jumped off his porch. Not you just broke the window. See, run. Doing like a kid picture book? Run. Right. <laughs> Synergy of web-based and platform-based Unix-driven delivery system. Okay, I made that last part up. <laughs> it has a good job. I love how they're teaching us about. I needed a passport to get into Russia. But Jane. Really sorry, Mr. Fairbanks. Jane works hard too, <laughs> but she don't got a good job. <laughs> it's not my fault. The airport security strips her, Mr. Fairbanks. I mean, maybe. Here's Billy. Is that their kid? I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna load you up. Blanca, I'm guessing that's their maid. Oh, okay, he knows Spanish. And their dog is Spot. He likes to bark. Love that. Said it just reminds him to be a little less vocal. Oh, a little? <laughs> I like to bark in past tense. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I'm loving this, though. I think I'm gonna do this for my yard. I thought about it, but I'm, I'm still not sure, but I kinda wanna do this for my yard. Install fake grass. It's so much to maintain real grass. <laughs> Fun with and Jay. Nice. Okay, I didn't think they were gonna start out as a couple. When I heard the title Fun with and Jane, I thought they were gonna like meet each other, fall in love type stuff. Check this out. Mercedes, on. What? You got a speaking car? Sit, stay. Play dead. Good boy. <laughs> Mercedes off. You want a new car, man? Go get you a new car. Screw it. <laughs> I don't know. I like BMWs. I think they're nice. Look at everyone down the line got a BMW. Begun to run into situations. Situations. The big boys want to see you upstairs. Oh, I love her accent. The big boys want to see you upstairs. 32nd. Not the 51st. Yes. <laughs> They're so happy about the floor. Congratulations, Mr. Harper. <laughs> what do you mean, congrats? What the heck is this the floor? <laughs> hey, Oz. Morning. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. He didn't say good morning. He said morning. <laughs> I wonder who's going to take his place. That's the big mystery. Yeah. Hopefully not you. You getting off? Not this time, Oz. <gasps> <laughs> you knew he was going to the higher floor? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's something about the 51st floor that we do not know. I believe I can touch the sky. Ooh, sing it. Spread my wings and fly, fly away. away. Yeah, sing it. Oh, catch me going through that open. I didn't know it was produced by Jim Carrey. You know, 
God dang, well, all those other floors heard you. And I'm here to see Jack McAllister. Sorry, he had to step out. Tell me he had to step out. Damn glad to finally see you up here. Hey, man. <laughs> the longest shake in the world. You could have walked closer. He wanted to invite you to his house for an orientation meeting on Monday morning. You said a whole bike is assignment so bad. Address. All right, sure, I'll get that. And uh, thank you, Frank. He's gone. He does not care. <laughs> How do you like your eggs? How do you like your eggs? Oh, wow. You're really living. VP. So I think that stands for vice president, probably, right? Bob got VP last month. He's making 150 plus bonuses. Come on, you want to spend more time with Billy. I mean, you don't like your job anyways. That's clear. We should have sex. Whoa. That's what you want? I'll pick up the new Starbucks sampler featuring Sade. Wild. They're planning when they're gonna do it. I guess some people are just made for each other. <laughs> because me personally, I'd be like, ain't no way you're gonna plan it for Saturday. We gotta do it now. <laughs> make yourself at home. <laughs> Don't make yourself at home. Don't do it. Hey, call me Jack. Likewise. With my name. Dick, I mean, ma'am. <laughs> He's so nervous. Dick Harper playing the harp. Harpo Marx playing the Jews harp. D.H. What the heck are you saying? God, yeah, you ever have a nickname? The squirt. Something about how it's conceived, I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> That's a horrible nickname. Why would your parents give you that? And you've been a great cheerleader for this company. So we were thinking that, uh, well, you go ahead and tell them. No, you go ahead. Yeah. Well, tell me. We want you to go on Money Life this afternoon and announce our quarterly projections. You're the guy. Mmm. Positive spin. These are fickle times, Dick. We need to stick together as a team. Why did he not look so happy with that information, though? Like my daddy always used to say. What did your daddy used to say? <laughs> hey, how are those eggs floor team? Best I've ever had. Good answer. <laughs> Talking about best I ever had. How many times do I need to tell you? I don't need a kosher meal. I'm a Piscopalian. Jeez. Can I talk to you for a minute? It's personal. Wow. <laughs> he left the guy on the phone. Three, two. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. The, the turnaround was so funny. Actually, over the past year, Jack McAllister has sold 80% of his holdings. Oh. How do you explain that? He was not expecting to answer these kind of questions. Big fan, love your stuff. I wish I could say the same. Oh. I believe that corporations like Globodyne pervert the American dream. Oh, God. You are screwing up so bad. And we'd be more than willing to share any and all documentation. Why would you say that? Now they have to... Now they gotta get rid of all the documentation. <laughs> Frank. Try to focus. What's happening to Globodyne? Globodyne? It's Globodyne. They weren't lying. <laughs> Let go of me now. I want you to hit me. Let go. You're scaring me. Oh no! And I think his his wife just quit her job. Uh, this is not good. We companies have to die so that stronger companies can get stronger. It's just nature. So I guess they were already planning for this to happen. Please, sir. Hey, they're gonna be fine. Don't go there. This is America, the land. Opportunity. You just ruined his life. This doesn't feel right. Step away from the road is now, boy. They're going to chop your head clean off now. That is not good. I've been in red, but it Put that plant down. Ain't even nothing left on it. <laughs> oh, she is going to kill you. Oh, and the vice president is home. Don't you dare lie to your wife. She is so happy just from quitting her job. And there is nothing he's going to be able to do about it. I could feed a family of four. Billy. Oh, I'm surprised you left oh. off the hooves. <laughs> and then giving that big of a piece to your son is crazy. Wonderful news. Mama quit her job. Yay. Mama quit her job. Timing of it was just beautiful. Oh, I, I just did it. You should have talked to him first. I mean, he, t he told her to, but like, he didn't think this was going to happen. Me not necessarily working at Globodyne anymore. <laughs> Ew, what kind of laugh was that? I am a winner. 
Billy, tell your father he's a winner. Papa, it's kind of door. What did he just say? See? See. This kid is speaking too much Spanish just because he's been spending all his time with that maid. What are you going to oh. do? Look for a job? I think I might just take this day. I'm, I'll be wow. I'll see you later, baby. Yeah. Really Bye. <laughs> she got out of no job, but she still got out of it that fast. He has a whole house to himself, but I hope he doesn't like turn to like, because usually when you take one day, it turns into multiple days and then months and then years of having no job. <laughs> Bro, it's so bored. There's no way you're that bored. Former CFO Frank Bescom has been indicted on charges of fraud and money laundering. Damn. I think you should take that off of him. How is he gonna like warn you guys? Can't be that bad, can it, bud? No, it's it's that bad. Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> shocking the crap out your dog and then like they can't warn when someone else comes out you'll love it <laughs> you have a fax number there are no new openings at this time wow so like i said that one day always turns into a bunch of days and months and years hmm someone following him or something what the heck Oh, he sabotaged the other hirees or whatever. Are you kidding me? Y'all some buttholes. There you go. There you go. Juke them bottles. Oh! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh! Y'all did all that for nothing. <laughs> There's still a long old line you gotta wait in. Dick Harper! God, you don't have to stand in this line. Come on with me. Oh! Rage it. <laughs> Rage it. He'd be so bad. I ordered Kentucky blue grass. This is green. Uh-uh. I hate that they're trying to just be better than their neighbors and impress them. <laughs> Did you bring your statistics? <laughs> like what? Can we just get on with the job interview? <laughs> we just want to take your picture. Okay, everybody, move it closer. Are you kidding me? Why do they disrespect him like that? What are you doing? Going through our finances. It seems that we may be in a little bit of a pickle, Dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, she said a little bit of a pickle. Our lawn was repossessed today. I didn't even know they could do that. Yeah. It took me 15 years to get a VP ship. If I step back now, I'll lose everything I work for. You just need money. Y'all are in debt. Our pension was in Globodine stock. Oh. Everything was in Globodine stock. And that stock crashed down. We've got 600 grand. Where? We're standing in it. Our house. What you do? Give our house up? If we sold our house today, we would actually owe the bank 150 grand. Oh, they're broke, broke. They would literally have to declare bankruptcy. Well, then Billy loses all sense of security and later on never be able to have a relationship. So he'd just spend his whole life just alone. Okay, ma'am, you are overdoing it. You said everything was going to be okay. <gasps> Not the lights going. Oh. The real key for brokenness when your electricity goes out. We're family. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm gonna need you all to piss in one of these cups. Drug test. Do all stores, like, I, I've never worked in a grocery store or fast food or anything like that, but have they ever? I've been married for 20 years. I know what it looks like. You want me to get you a cola? Oh. But uh, we are looking for a Jeet Kune Do instructor. I was born doing that. She doesn't even know what he said. <laughs> Where do you keep the cigarette? You heard the corner? You missed one. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Wait, ma'am. <laughs> you missed one. It's impossible to freaking say welcome to all of them. Excuse me? Ma'am? She's ready! <laughs> she is ready for her life. Oh! Eyeballing me when I came in the door, you're all up in my goodies. 
Ma'am, I work here. Why me, Lord? Yo, house looks sad. Yo, life is sad. Your son is very important to me. I would do anything for him if he died. In the meantime, thank you. Did she just call him? Wait. Congratulations. Think about this, huh? How many places you'll see on one tank of gas? <laughs> True. <laughs> you want me to drive? Yeah. So Hey man, living on a budget is hard. I should know, a lot of us should know, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Me, Jesus. My oh no, this is horrible. If you think there's a way. <laughs> wow. What are you doing with the television? Oh, hi. What are you doing with the television? Break it! <laughs> I like how the kid has a Spanish accent for spending so much time with the maid. <laughs> He's losing his mind. What are you doing with the television? <laughs> Although this is funny, if you really think about it, this is really sad, man. There's always prostitution. Thank you, serious. This is just temporary. So stay calm. Don't panic. Ah, damn. He's the one panicking. You're going to stay in the dirt hole all night long? Come on, honey, let's get out. I'm starting to turn into a raisin anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have a coffin who might be able to help you find some work. Coffin? But it's something. At least she's helping. That girl is so sweet. She's staying there without getting paid and she's really helping them. Like, that's actually pretty nice. He blends in perfect. Look at all these sad people. <laughs> they all look like they need a job. <laughs> I need one guy who knows how to paint. That's me. He just needs a hat. That's all he needs. Congratulations, my lord. You almost got that one. You almost got that one, man. Good try. Just a little bit. Did you see that? We should report that guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We don't report them. Let's report him. Oh, dude, credit cards. What the heck? Face, go ahead and check off anything that you think you might want to improve on just a little bit. Oh, gosh. Are douches still wired? No. I'm screwed. Damn, your face is messed up. It, I think it's the immigration. And then we'll call my wife Jennifer and his wife Jacqueline too. He's ringing, he's ringing. Hola. Oh, his son picked up talking about hola. Oh no. Oh, honey, I, I can barely oh, understand. Why are you doing that accent? He's not doing that accent. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Well, shouldn't they be able to check like your birth certificate, social security number, all that? Like, what? Is he trying to jump the border? Oh my god! He's jumping the border with all of them? This is insane! Run! They are not all gonna fit in that car! It's just different. Hey, Deke, can we talk about this some other time? Deke, you gotta go, man. They do not have a lot of space in that car. <laughs> I literally can't. I'm so dead. It's funny, like I said, but if you look at the bigger picture, this is really, really sad because none of this is their fault. None of this is their fault. None of this would be happening if what happened at that company didn't happen. Don't think for too long. We gotta get up early. Soup kitchen stop serving at eight. Oh, not the soup kitchen. I think what's worse, that kid is like, he just isn't even in the picture. Like, he don't even care. He's just living life. <laughs> Ew, why is she sleeping like that? <laughs> Overall, like I said, it's a funny movie, but this is really, really sad. I think that's why I always considered myself like a, I have a mediocre lifestyle because I've known what it was like to be broke. Absolutely. I've been in this position um, with my family, obviously not by myself. And when I got out into the real world by myself, I told myself that I would never treat money like it was nothing. I would never be broke again. Oh,
What the heck? What are you doing? Are you stealing shit just to make his house look better? Just let I put it back. What the? What happened? I got the lawn back. He literally got the lawn back. <laughs> he built a lawn. You couldn't just take a bath before you, or like take your clothes off at least before you got in the bed? It's beautiful, honey. That's beautiful to you? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say anything. It's the little things that matter in times like these though. Like I said, I told myself I would treat money as if it were everything. Like if, if someone said, oh, can you buy this? Now nah, I'm broke, even though I'm not really broke. <laughs> Aww. He looks angry. Oh man, 24 hours. Who eats a banana like this? We followed the rules and we got screwed. We were good people, honest people. We got screwed. So now he's gonna try to rob? Now you're gonna rob a bank or something? We got screwed over and over again, hun. Yeah, he's gonna try to rob something. Yeah, but, uh oh. We're all just cavemen, trying to protect our little patch of land. Girl, why is your face not healed but his did? I'm gonna take what I need. Maybe you should steal some Prozac. Keep laughing, Jane. Keep laughing. Literally, why are you laughing? I think he's serious. Are you gonna be his getaway driver? Okay, so her face did heal. She just has a way bigger upper lip. Oh, wait, when you're in there, will you get me some snow caps? Oh, no, 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 raisin that's raisin that's Ma'am, I'm trying to rob the place. And don't forget to kill the witnesses, hon. Okay. Why does she think it's a joke? I'm being serious. We need money. <laughs> He's not gonna rob the place. He's too scary. Y'all not built for that. <laughs> <laughs> She's just laughing at him. Why are you being so weird? Oh my gosh. Right here. Hey, AJ, take a break. I got this one. That'll be 129, please. Oh no, yeah, you're definitely not robbing this guy. Go! That was so dumb. The problems are pretty much over. Gee, just drive the car, okay? We'll find another place. Sir, you couldn't even rob that one. Hi, Garth. Ah, it's from, uh, the, from the barbecue. Tell me, go. You scared me to death. You could have had his money. Just drive, just drive the car. <laughs> that was horrible timing. What is even the point? Like, you're good for nothing. Thank you, Sonny. Oh, Thank no, you. Well, <laughs> At least you got some money off of it, though. They are right picking, and you are just the guy for the job. Why are you egging him on? Like, I can't tell if she's actually. Some people have that robbing thing, and, and some people don't. Right. You're not a badass. There's nothing wrong with that. What are you doing? Are you doing? What am I doing? Listen, put your hands down. Are you doing? A little bit of stress. Why are you undercutting? The lights in here is crazy. Get the money out of there right now. I mean it. Pull it out. Put it in the sack and let's go. Come on, man. I need the money. Their lives went to crap for no reason. And then driving like that in the rain could like y'all are literally risking your lives and you have a whole child. What is the point of doing all that? I can't believe we just did that. We did do it. We did do it. Oh my god. Okay. Screw it, I guess. You wanna grab a cup of coffee while we're in here? I smoke it sounds nice. Yeah. Oh! Get down to the ground and you won't get her! Whoa! 
They're so embarrassing. Get some of those. Which ones? Vanilla chocolate, vanilla chocolate. In the back, in the back. This one? No, 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 that one. Oh my God, bro. They're the worst, right? Y'all are really getting robbed by these people. Oh yeah, right. Thanks a lot. They're like, what the heck? Is that us on a motorcycle? It's evil Knievel, huh? <laughs> what are y'all doing? Oh, lights are back on. Okay, I'm low key happy for them. Although, let me be honest with you, robbing is not right, you know. Uh uh. <laughs> I'm literally so dead. Honey, where's my car? Ooh. Well, I guess stealing someone else's car for the robbery is uh, pretty valid. <laughs> Mercedes. I'm gonna be honest, they're getting quite good at what they're doing, though. They shouldn't be doing it, but they're getting quite good. Aww. Yeah, but now if you think about it, when y'all get caught, your child is not gonna have parents because y'all both gonna get locked up. <laughs> Can't we pistol left him? <laughs> Why are you laughing with the robber? This is not funny. Don't you laugh. No, okay. That means what we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Can you get boys? So funny. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> can't even call for help. <laughs> I literally can't. Oh lord. What have you been up to since Globodine went under? Working at home, playing in the stock market. It's like stealing money. Mmm. It's like stealing money, huh? A bank? I'm trying to stay focused. Oh, okay. Y'all are gonna rob a bank? Flesh eating disorder. It's all over the money. I want to wash your hands. Ooh. How are you gonna take the money? Wait, what? Oh. Shit. Put your weapons down. Plan stick to the plan. Like, what are you doing? I'm putting the weapon down. Oh god. They're worse than freaking than them two. Oh God. What were Oz and Debbie doing there? Dick, that could have been us. What were we thinking? Man, that could not have been y'all. Y'all did it correctly. Y'all were already near the money. I mean, let me not say that. Again, robbing is wrong. The collapse of Globodyne hurt me financially and personally, just like any other employee. Look at where you're at. On vacation in Georgia, are you kidding me? Did I get him? Now you did. Now you did. Everybody's in hell. He's on vacation, shooting stuff. That's the guy you should rob. We're gonna be indicted. No, wait, it's gonna be okay. Indicted! Honey, dick. Indicted! Relax! <laughs> I can't calm down, I'm gonna be indicted! We're gonna be indicted! Is he using that as like a, a good news or something? Like, what is wrong with him? Look at all these old farts. Wow! <laughs> you guys are my kind of peeps. <laughs> Presidents of Hair Club for Men. This squirrel died of natural causes. He is going through it right now. This happens every week. This guy actually isn't that bad. So about this guy isn't actually that bad. Dick. Long time no see. Oh, he's gonna kill you. <laughs> he is gonna kill you. Dang. It's literally all your fault, Frey. Yeah, and I bet when you get out of prison, you'll get 20 million dollars to keep your mouth shut. 10. You think I could have gotten 20? Oh, he's only gonna get 10 million dollars to keep his mouth shut. That's nothing. <laughs> Sometimes the cure is a clean conscience. That is good. I just thought of it. I just thought of it. Okay, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. 
I am not letting you get away, man. I know a way. I know a way. But it's really, really risky. Screw it. That way is better than no way. We don't got no money. There it is, the Grand Cayman Bank. It's where rich people go to evade taxes. Bastards. Wow. That only he and the bank know. And then the agent will take this to an authorization officer for further verification. I thought you said it was simpler than that. Now you're just confusing me. For final approval before finalization. I thought you said this was going to be simple. Right. Yeah, except Jane is gonna have to do the switch. Uh, Macau sees he's one of us. He's gonna know something. So <laughs> that's all she has to do. Yeah. Does she actually do the switch the way that they showed it, or? No, it's you good. It, no, you do it. You do it. You do it. You deserve to do it. Are you really upset that she's doing it? Okay. I'll be the bank representative, and you be you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You screw up everything. All you ever do is screw up. And I'm gonna try to delay McAllister from getting here. He's here. He's, He's here. Oh God. He's here. Y'all already screwed up. That. Okay. Why are you drinking? How am I supposed to find the client relations coordinator? Oh. <laughs> Like, what made him turn around right there? What could have made him turn around? Uh-uh. But I really don't recall you. No, listen, this is crazy. You have to remember. <laughs> You're not gonna remember. Someone stole my car right out of the parking lot. Yeah. You better hurry up. I got it. Oh. Oh no. You're parked in a handicapped space. That's not a handicapped space. It is now. It is now. <laughs> oh shoot, hurry up. Oh, good, good hiding. Woo. What? Okay, did not expect you to hide up there though. You weren't even trying to be slick about it. Where's he going? I'm gonna go down there and get this stamp. Hey, man, you have to stall. You know, working mostly here temporarily over in uh, transfers. I heard you left Come on, do the switch. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm not talking, so I'm a little... I'm watching the movie too much. Did he see us? I think he saw you. I think he saw you. Mm -mm. I was saying, I think he saw you. You're the one that was peeking out. You're going to march out of here right now. You're going to take little Goldilocks there with you. And I won't put the two of you in prison for a very long time. Damn, he caught us. Bankrupted, deported, and blackmailed because of you. And I'm not leaving here without your money. Yeah. It's not gonna do us any good. He's just gonna cancel it the minute we walk out of here. <sighs> I don't care. Man, everything they've been through, it's the least he could do. Just a little something to show you what I think you're worth. A hundred dollars? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Do you still have McAllister's form? He got his signature. <gasps> because I just got his signature. Oh my God, he got his signature, what the heck? I didn't even think about it. I had no idea what you were doing. I was completely fooled. I thought I didn't know you could act. <laughs> he said I didn't know you could act. <laughs> Ironic going to Jim Carrey. Oh my God, that's crazy. Married to a genius criminal. I'm a hardened criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the habit of signing things without looking at them? Spencer, better sign that paper. Who the heck is that? Why is he running? Oh! We're all waiting for you over here, Jack. Everybody's really pumped. Come on! Everybody's really pumped. Talking about thank you. Are you still trying to get even with me? Why would I want to get even with the most generous man? No way! He gave his money to other people, didn't he? Here are some suggested responses. Oh, it's all for you. <laughs> it's all for you. I, I, uh, uh, I, uh. Yeah, go ahead. Use your talking points, buddy. $400 million into the newly created Global Don Pension Relief Fund. Woo! Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Their pensions have been returned. It is the first time in U.S. corporate history Aww. has personally funded a bankrupt. Hey, hey, hey! What's up to relax? And this is just the beginning in the Thousands more will be received. Okay, God, golly! and life savings. 
Aw, oh, man. Happy ending for everyone except Jack. We love that. <laughs> Jack, Scott, throw it back. They love you, Jack. Go to hell. Yeah, you lost all that money, you greedy bastard. He doesn't even know how to react right now. Mi nombre es Dick Harper. Harper. <laughs> so their kid is teaching them Spanish? With a new company, great benefits. They trade energy, it's called Enron. Don't go Enron. It's literally just gonna be a, a remake of Globodyne. That is the end of the movie, y'all. It was really, really, really entertaining. Obviously, it's a comedy and I loved it. It was so funny. But I think if you really sit down and think about the plot of the movie, this was actually really, really sad. Like he lost a job. Again, none of this is his fault, but because of a greedy CEO, the entire market crashed. A lot of employees lost their jobs and lost money. They were really, really poor for a long time, had to sell everything, almost had to go bay, like had to file for bankruptcy. Like this is really sad if you think about it. Obviously it had a happy ending, which I love. It took doing something illegal for it to be a happy ending, but I still loved it. And yeah, overall though, this movie was very good. I think it's, again, like I was saying in the middle of the movie, it's more of a lesson. Don't take advantage of the money. Try to, y'all wanna invest in things in your life that really matter. I'm only 21, but I promise you when I'm 60, a lot of the things that I'm going to have when I'm 60, I've invested in at this time. Like you have to treat money really, really precious because not a lot of people like to hear it, but money makes the world go round. I really enjoyed it. So thank you again to Solar Being for requesting this movie. Really, really love y'all. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This has been MJ and don't ask about Spider-Man. Peace. Stop.